Allow me to introduce this man. This is Barnaba Fornasetti. He just had a strange dream. Let me tell you about it. He sees two hands moving on a keyboard he doesn't recognize. The sharp sound of the type bars, though, is kind of familiar. A white ribbon comes out of the machine, blank, but spangled with holes. He looks at the cast lead boiling, becoming liquid, but the sound he hears is mechanical like raindrops. Somehow, he understands these are letters. A sheet of paper is abducted by a machine, ending in a labyrinth of rolls. He can't see it until it comes out, finally filled with paragraphs he'd like to chew. He sees a face emerging from murky waters, only to sink back under a moment later. A familiar face that reminds him of his father, powder falling onto his cheeks and bristles caressing him. He recognizes familiar details, something like a disc or perhaps a plate. It looks like gold. Creams and inks mask and unmask the face. He watches this face disappearing, swallowed up by cylinders and wheels, only to reappear shortly after this time, doubled, reflected on the paper. Hands gather sheets of paper, arranging and assembling them. The point of a needle pops out from a black corner, then dives back in again, carrying the silent trail of a thread. These are the same sheets of paper he saw being printed, now combined and organized until they form a single block. Carefully spread, the creamy glue fixes the attention with which it has been stitched. A canvas wraps and protects them in a warm embrace. He recognizes a cover. And there's that face again. When everything finally seems to be taking shape, he begins to feel lighter and lighter until he is no longer sure where he is. He wakes up with a book in his hands. He counts to 100 and Lena is there next to him.